yeah, where's the top of my head? Gone. Anyways, this is gonna work. So, I'll just bend down here for a minute. So, I today went on an adventure. So, this is gonna be a little bit different kind of video than normally. So, just to introduce myself quickly, my name is Tony and I am on the keto diet. And I've been on the keto diet since June 30th of 2018 and I've lost 68 pounds to date. And I like to cook, so I film videos. If you're already a subscriber, you know that most of my videos are just filming cooking, how to cook the meals that I make. And then my staff generally gets to enjoy those meals the next day at their lunchtime. And yes, they're spoiled. And I know you're watching Tiffany, Christina, and my newest member, Itza. So I know you guys are watching. Oh, Leo to you too. You were eating with us last week. So if you're one of those people, Thank you for back, coming back and watching the channel. Thank you for all of you who are subscribing. But I'm going to do something a little different today than normally. And I've had a few people request I do some different kind of videos than just showing you how to cook because there's some things that I have to share that might not only involve pots and pans. And maybe that I should share some of my meal planning tips, some of uh, what I eat in a day, and a little more of my grocery haul. So I plan to do all those things, and I do have a very, very good monthly meal planning system that I do. And I, it's not like day to day. I do use a calendar, but I mix it all around. It doesn't have to go exactly like I put it out there. Just the 30 meals for the month, and then get through the month, and you know, feed Sid, who's not on keto, and he's on OMAD. That's my husband, and he's on one meal a day, and he does a, a Herbalife shake for breakfast and for dinner, and he just eats one meal, and that's for his lunch. So that's what I cook at night. I cook keto for me and my staff, and I cook, oh, well, I cook my husband a normal meal for his OMAD diet. Well, he still does kind of low-calorie stuff, but he gets a little crazy sometimes. But anyways, I had the funnest day today. I have a hoarse voice, so I apologize for that, but I went out on a, a roundabout I really went a long ways. I went all the way up to Pearland to a farmer's market. Um, I saw on Facebook that there were gonna be two keto vendors at this farmer's market, so I did wanna go and check them out. It was great, and then I made it over to League City to Marina's Bakery and Events, and I know you guys have heard me mention them before. They're awesome, and they make the keto bread and bagels. They make a blueberry loaf. They make lots of things. They make muffins, blueberry muffins. Um, and they're coming out with pretzels soon, I hear. So keto pretzels, what? Like the big ones you dip in the cheese sauce. <gasps> I can hardly wait, I'm so excited. Anyways, enough about that. So at the farmer's market, I met some really great people and at Marina's today, it was a full keto event. It was like a sip and, <coughs> sit and sip or something like that. They had <coughs> a couple different vendors there and I got cards from everyone and contact information for you guys. <coughs> I'll show you the cards, but I know they're going to be backwards. So at the end, I'll take some pictures of the cards and I'll, <coughs> I'm having some throat issues, guys. It's Coke Zero. Don't plan, panic. And yes, I know I should be drinking water. Anyway, <coughs> I got cards from everyone that had them and some information on everyone who didn't so that I could refer these. These are local vendors. So if you're my local peeps <coughs> and you're tired of ordering things in the mail or you're just trying to get started and you're like Tony how do I get started you know I'm talking to um, these are people who can help you get started because they have ready-made product that you can use take it home easy 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 things to make keto friendly meals so I'll start with one person who didn't have a lot of um, a lot of marketing material because they're kind of a small um, they are the best Indian, hold on, let me not lie. Uh, best Indian food. And I believe they have a grocery store in Houston, but they are at the farmer's market every other weekend and you can order from them. They have a website. They, um, you can find them on Facebook. And this is how their Facebook page looks. I will put a link to their Facebook page down in the bottom, but they did have a lot of interesting products there like I could have like been there all day but um, I have a lot of places to go they do make some like flatbreads and tortillas and things like that and most all of the vendors did um, I just at this point realized that I didn't get any of the keto tortillas but next time anyways so the first one was the best Indian <clears throat> what whatever I said best Indian food okay so I got some of this not too long ago I had gotten a, a green chef meal kit that had a tiki masala chicken 
and um, because when you get those Green Chef meals, those pack, spice packets don't tell you exactly what's in them, you could probably recreate them if you really try, but we get it exactly right, probably not. So she makes the keto tiki masala, and this is a ready-made sauce, so you just add your protein, your chicken or shrimp or whatever kind of masala you want. So it's a the keto tiki masala, and I tasted it, super delicious. Um, a lot of and their phone number is on here two eight one two four one nine eight five zero. So it is a gluten free sauce. Anyways, it is super yummy. I tasted it there. It is good to go. Okay, and I love saving those little bowls, those little Tupperwares. They're always great. Okay, so and then. I have seen a million recipes for butter chicken. I haven't made one, but I tasted her butter chicken and it was super good as well. And it's also butter chicken, gluten-free, yummy. So though I bought those two things from her, super delicious. So I got, those are the two things that I got from her. Um, and she did have a lot more there, tons and tons of different sauces. So. You know, they are in the Pearland Center under the big pavilion. They had their little booths under there and they had some other vendors there. I didn't see a lot of like produce vendors, but there are people selling like some, you know, homemade things and some <clears throat> different meats and they had some different vendors there. Not, they don't want keto. So then I stumbled upon the next keto, which is called Rishi's Way Bakery and Kitchen, traditional and keto friendly. And her name is Jody. And this is her card. Now, from Jody, I got some keto blueberry scones. I love scones. Where I'm from in Seattle, every year they have the Puyallup Fair. And at the Puyallup Fair, and I was, it's funny the story that I have to say about Puyallup. If Keto Connect ever sees this video, I need to tell Mega, it's not Puyallup, it's Puyallup. <laughs> Cause she was doing a murder we ate and she was mispronouncing the Puyallup, which is not a common name, and I get it, but I mean, it's just kind of every time she'd say it, it made me giggle, and I just want to say, Mega, call me so I can say it out loud for how, do you, how you say Puyallup. Anyways, I'm gonna tag them in the video, so maybe she'll watch it, but it is super funny, because when, I love the word murder we ate, we ate, and I always watch it, I'm not gonna say why, where I watch it, because I'll get in trouble, because I'm using my data, but shh, don't tell. Anyways, she, they made this, they make these at the Puyallup Fair, so I am anxious to see if these taste like my favorite blueberry um, scones from the Puyallup Fair. So I miss them so much. Those were a favorite for me when I was a kid. The, the Puyallup Fair was the place to go every year. Like, it was a humongous fair. So anyway, keto blueberry scones, yummy. Okay, she had some other flavors, but that's the only one she had left. So then I bought from her this pie crust. And I think $8 is pretty pricey for a pie crust, but I like to support our keto vendors. And I know if there's some of you out there that don't like the, the cauliflower and all of those other kind of crusts, like I, I'll use the lavash roll-up bread to make a flatbread pizza and it's delicious and I love it. But just to support her and also get this out there that there is an option and it is not made out of a vegetable. It is made with um, I think it's made with nut flours. It contains eggs, nuts, and milk. <clears throat> yeah, but they don't have a storefront, but you order and you pick up. I think she said you order on Tuesday. By Tuesday, you pick up on Friday in Pearland. So quick and easy. And this is like a personal size or maybe, yeah, a personal size pizza. I think it's like eight, eight inches or so. So, and it's already just ready to top, so it's par cooked. So it's partially cooked. You just top it, throw it in the oven. It says you cook it for how long? She told me something. I don't remember. I'll have to look at her website. She, I talked to a lot of people today. Anyways, also what she gave for me to try was, um, what is it called? Oh, it's on the back. A pork pupusa. Right? Okay, so this was, it's $12, but she gave it to me for free. Said if I would like give you guys a <clears throat> taste test on this. So I'll be warming this up later and giving it a taste. Um, but it is fully cooked. You just defrost it and then put it in the microwave for 40 seconds. 
I know Christina is gonna love this because she loves pupusas. I've never been a big fan of the cheese that goes in pupusas because it's stinky, but. So then I also got from her this humongous tamales. They're really big, the size of my head. They're big, or almost. Um, and they have on the back, total net carbs for each tamale is four with one fiber and one, wait, two fiber, 1.9. So two fiber, so these are two net carbs. They do have one sugar and 17 protein. Uh, they have three, uh, 236 calories and 17 grams of fat. So for macros, these are pretty awesome. They are fully cooked. You just defrost it in the microwave for 40 to 50 seconds. Again, keto tamales, who wouldn't? I don't know, are these pork? Yeah, these are pork. So I got pork from her, but then I went trucking across the planet, but let me get to that one in a minute. So there was one other vendor there called Wooden Spoon Bakers. They don't have a ton of keto stuff, um, but they do have a ton of, you know, homemade and bakery. So if you're not on keto, they, they're, they're fresh breads and their biscuits and all the things. I mean, gosh, they look delicious. So, and they do have a list of events that they'll be attending and I'll take a picture of this also so you cannot see it backwards but what i did get from them was some beef jerky it has less than one gram of sugar and the sugar that she used was raw honey so yes raw honey is not but she's saying she uses like a teaspoon per 10 pound 10 she uses 10 pounds of meat splits it into four bags and uses one teaspoon of raw honey per bag so when you get down to it, it's a minuscule amount. And to find beef jerky that is low sugar is next to impossible. There's some online, but super expensive. And this bag is how many ounces, she doesn't say, but she did make it with lean beef. We're gonna have to talk to her about that. But anyways, this and her and I spoke about some suggestions for making this completely keto friendly. And we're gonna visit more on that later, but you guys need to check them out. Again, they're called Wooden Spoon Bakers. They have their cell phone number and PO box and all these thing, all the things here on this flyer, and I'll take a picture of that, and I will insert it somewhere in the video, or I'll put it in the description box. Um, okay, so then I headed over to League City after meeting these nice people, and when I got to League City, I um, let me let me get the picture up because I'm I'm gonna butcher her name if I don't. Really. Okay, anyway, sidetracked. <clears throat> Walmart needs to get it together. They have two pharmacies saying they have my prescriptions ready. Like, how many, how many prescriptions do I need? The same prescription over and over. Anyway, I digress, as one of my other YouTuber friends would say. Okay, so when I got to Marina's Bakery and Events, and I know you guys know that I talk about James all the time. He is certified keto, and I will also put a copy of his card. He is on uh, Main Street in League City. He's just not too far from I-45, just down, 5, just down um, 518, a little ways past the neighborhood market, Walmart neighborhood market, the new one they just built. Just, just a little ways down from there on the left-hand side, he's attached to a Marina's Mexican food. So both are very great. They have a chicken dish there, chicken extapa, I think it's called. Oh my gosh, it is so good, delicious. You gotta try it. Okay, anyway, <clears throat> so while I was there, they were having like a sip and sit, kind of a keto situation. The line was to the freaking street. I mean, there was a lot of people there. It was, and it's a small bakery, so we were like in line, but it was fast. Like we didn't, it wasn't long wait. But inside, once we got in there, I got to meet some vendors who also provide some keto products, and I was really interested, but for one, not for myself because I don't drink wine, but keto friendly wine for those of you wine drinkers, keto friendly wine. And they do not add extra sulfites to it and it's extremely low sugar. And it, they have red and white wine. So red wine keto is a rarity. So yes, if you are in the wine game and you are missing it on keto, Tony found you an option. Congratulations, I love you too, you're welcome. Okay, so I will get that information 
in the right way. It's called Scout and Seller, and her name is Erin Dahl, and she said the fastest way to get a hold of her if you'd like to order something, and I do have a copy of their order form which has a complete wine list on it, and I will put that somewhere as well, but it has all the wines. They have like a ton, and the years they were made, and all the things, and all the prices. So it, lo it looks like they're 25-ish dollars, like some a little more, some a little less. Um, I see as low as 19 all the way up to 72. So 72 is made in 2016, which is a Bernard Cabernet Sauvignon, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I'm not a wine fan, so it gives me a headache. I'm allergic to sulfites. But anyways, I have her order form. I will either scan and upload it like a PDF file for people to download, or I'll see if I can get a good enough picture of it to so you guys can see it but anyways she <clears throat> said the easiest way to contact her is to to um text her to her cell number which is on here she also has an email they have a website so it's clean crafted wines to your door so they will ship but they do have a local place for us who are local where we can go pick it up so note to self keto wine covered what's the next most important thing more keto tamales and i'm not gonna open them because they're frozen and i'm gonna put them back in the freezer but these i tasted they are absolutely delicious what do they make the moss out of dare we ask um pork rinds really tony you couldn't figure that out already pork rinds <sighs> come on now but anyways why well, figure it out when you go buy them they are a little pricey they are 30 dollars for a dozen Yes, I know. And I got the chicken because I got the pork from here. So we will be doing a full taste review on these products for breakfast tomorrow. Yay. And that will be my what I eat in a day on a Sunday when I'm doing Monday meal prep. Knock it out, right? Okay, so I was at Marina's Bakery and you all know I can't go there without getting my goodies because literally this bread has been the life to me. So if you're looking for a bread replacement for keto, this one can't be beat. Now, I love my lavish roll-ups. Now, don't get me wrong. And they're only $3.99 for 16 pieces. And that is a great deal at Costco. And you can use them for a lot of things. If you saw my BLT on my my BLT on my um, Instagram page, and if you aren't on my Instagram page, you should be because I post a picture of everything I eat. Everything I eat, whether I get it from out, takeout, or if I made it or whatever. If I make the night before, you'll see it in my lunch pictures because I take it to work and I feed all the staff. Because Sid doesn't like most of what I cook for keto. He wants to eat what he likes. This is the loaf of bread. If you can't tell how big this loaf of bread is, I don't know what to tell you because it is literally shoulder to shoulder, almost, right? And from top to bottom, can cover my entire face. Oh, I can't, you know what? We need a ruler because that has got to be like eight inches long, like, like, half of my like my forearm like half it is it's long it's super long it's a lot of slices what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one to two twenty three pieces of bread in here and you get you know it varies because of course it's a rice bread <clears throat> it's made with home ground almond and macadamia nuts that's his magic he puts pumpkin seeds um some steel oats just a few on the outside and a lot of like um sesame seeds and and sunflower seeds on the outside but the the flower base is made out of macadamia and almond nut nut flour and he grinds it himself and he makes these every day if you want to order from marina's bakery his name is james tell him tony told you to call and order or i sent you there because i promised i would send people and i always do i mean everybody knows that knows me here that's local that i go to league city for the marina's to get my bread so if you see these pictures on my instagram page this is the bread and it is phenomenal and it toasts up great where some of those low carb breads you order online like they don't toast. They're like, mm, bad. Anyways, this is Sid's favorite. This is blueberry bread. So it's kind of like a banana bread, what you would think of like a banana bread, but it is a blueberry bread. So it's not humongous. It's the bread, regular bread pan size, but it is completely keto and sugar-free. And Sid's diabetic, and he loves it. He can't tell the difference between this and a sugar bread. So if he'll eat it, he's picky. 
and he loves this stuff. Like, it is $14.99, and he's like happy to pay it because he loves it. But they also have it in muffin form, but they're a little pricey as well. They make one other thing that I have been loving lately, and it's a new product, keto bagels. Now they have an everything bagel, but they were out of them by the time I got there because I went to the farmer's market first. I should have went the other way around, but it was the, the weather was looking iffy and he's inside and the Mark farmer's market was outside. So, sorry, I had to do it. But anyways, I didn't get the everything bagels. I got the plain ones and um, <clears throat> these things are humongous too. Like look how big that bagel is and it toasts beautifully and i love these they are great sour cream i mean sour cream cream cheese i um, we've even used them to make bake, uh, to make a breakfast sandwich it was great it, they're awesome okay so that's the things that i caught today um the bread i believe is 24.99 and uh the bagels are 25 dollars a half dozen i get it that's expensive but if you are on keto and you want to stay sustained on keto, you want to take, you want to actually be gratified in the food that you eat because I can tell you, like, I have a lot of YouTubers I watch and they're like, it's not as much about the food, it's taste, and it's the nutrition. And yeah, it's the nutrition too. But I'm telling you what, that's what people drop off of keto for one after the next that people that I've mentored or people that I've, they're like, I just can't do it. I can't go without you know, just feeling like I'm be like I enjoy what I eat. I'm not just eating to live. I'm you know, I'm not living to eat, not eating to live, but eating to enjoy what I eat and getting, getting you know, that satisfaction and, and some gratification out of it. So it's like, I'm enjoying this. You want, I can't wait till lunch tomorrow kind of feeling. So, <clears throat> and all these things help the kind of things happen. And so does the things that I cook because everything's got tons of flavor in it. It's got tons of ingredients. And I just actually got off the phone with one of my longtime followers since before I went keto. Hello, Maddie. And yes, I'm filming the video, I told you. Um, <clears throat> is that I put, I don't, I don't cook from a recipe. I might see someone's recipe online or on Pinterest or on all the different things. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I can make a Tony version of that because, you know, maybe it's an extra carb or maybe it's like you know it's a variation of their recipe and I always give them credit if I'm using someone's recipe as a guide but they're guides people like if you see a recipe and you're like ew it has mushrooms in it gross I don't like that turn the page just don't put the mushrooms in it put something else like you don't have to use every single ingredient that someone asks you to use don't turn it off and turn it away just because of one ingredient if you don't like onions don't put onions put some onion powder it's all good. Like there are ways to make whatever anybody else is making right for you. Unless you just absolutely don't like anything in it. You just don't like the whole situation altogether. But <clears throat> most of the time I can take just about any recipe and make it into something that my staff approves of. Like I get a few turned up noses at a couple of things. Like if it's really salty or if it has a lot of beef in it, like Christine is not a big if the beef isn't really super tender she's not a fan so like if you're using stew meat or something and it's not falling apart she doesn't like it and that's fine i'm not offended but that's just the ingredient that she doesn't like if and i'll make the same exact recipe a week later and put chicken in it and she'll love it so that's what i'm saying like just play with your recipes like and don't be afraid to say okay you know i don't like the onions i don't like the mushrooms what can i put in its place you know, if you like eggplant, use eggplant and shredded mushrooms. They're both the same texture. If you like zucchini or squash, or if you don't like them, replace them with something else. It is just, I hate seeing people throw away a good recipe just because there's an ingredient in it they don't like. That is just, it's not how it works. So, anyways, I am so excited to try all these things. We're going to try the butter chicken. We're going to make something with that. I see myself putting this, or the butter chicken sauce actually. And then I'm gonna, I can't wait to put this on some chicken and stew it up for a while and I'll probably put some fresh veggies in it. I got a bunch of bell peppers to use and uh, put this on a bed of seasoned up cauliflower rice. You know what, while we're talking about cauliflower rice, the same thing with the tiki masala. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of regular old fresh out of the bag cauliflower rice, like either from the produce department or the freezer department. When If it tastes like crispy or if it's not tender like rice is like i don't like it i have to cook it all the way to soft and then i have to season it up i'm just not eating that bland crap 
I want butter in it and salt and pepper and I want you know flavor in it even before I pour a sauce and some chicken on it I want it to taste good so I'm putting you know seasonings in there Italian seasonings and butter or garlic and onion powder or even onions and garlic like whatever I have on hand depends if I'm cooking at the office or at home but I'm gonna put stuff in that cauliflower rice before I put anything on it because it needs to taste good on its own before I'm gonna put it with anything else so and if you're okay with that just basic cauliflower rice I, you're a rock star in your car or wherever you sing because that's where I'm rock star in my car um <clears throat> but go with your go with it that's great but I, I can't hang and butter just helps you get your fats and that's great so I put some butter melted in there and I put some seasonings in there make it taste good because I'm telling you I hear a lot of people go, oh, I don't like cauliflower rice well neither do I until I fix it until I mix it with my emulsion blender and put some sour cream cheese and bacon bits in there make loaded faux potatoes I mean it's all the things that you could put in there to make it taste like something you like just help it out but then you're got you're healthy and you don't you have your kind of potato fix I'm gonna tell you something else here I go on a tangent why don't I do these talking videos very often anyways radishes oh my gosh I was so surprised like I've been on keto since June of last year and just literally two weeks ago finally tried radishes as a potato substitute never did I expect for them to really taste like a potato and they turn white like a potato the red skin you don't even take it off you just cut the stems off the top and bottom you put them in there with your roast or you put them in there with whatever you just saute them in some butter and you know steam them with a little bit of water in your pressure cooker or on the stove with the one they taste like potatoes it's not in you know what I'm saying like mash them up like a homestyle potato throw your salt your peppers some butter you know put all the things you would put in if you were making real mashed potatoes and then put some gluten-free brown gravy on there what because that gluten-free brown gravy you find it where you find like all the gluten-free stuff it's it it's good and it's only two carbs per like a quarter of a cup it's like ridiculously low carb and you can have that I mean if you're on strict 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 keto you probably wouldn't because there's it's gluten-free though so there's not a lot of those other products but there's some chemicals like there's when you read the ingredients there's some stuff you can't pronounce and people strict keto don't generally like to do that but I've already been talking now I don't know it's really 27 minutes holy crap anyway so I'm gonna end this video and yeah it was supposed to be super short and maybe not anyways if you're new here welcome and thank you for coming and watching my video. If you've been here, thank you for staying. I really appreciate all of you. And all your newbie, all the newbies that I met this week at the TAA conference, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting my channel. I appreciate it very much. And um, <clears throat> my throat is so hoarse. Anyways, thank you all for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And do all the things. Give it a big thumbs up like and subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when i upload a new video and thank you so much